Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's a new week. Uh, you guys already know with uh, with the new week comes a new daily jewel, new event, new something, uh, new video period. Um, you know, just so you guys know, because I did get some inquiries uh, last week. Uh, like I said uh, in a previous post, you know, for you guys who do follow me on Instagram, I do appreciate every view. I appreciate uh, every sub every subscription, uh, every comment, every share. I'd appreciate it all. Uh, the reason I did start dropping the daily jewels or the videos, you know, perhaps I worded it that way. But anyway, the reason I did start limiting them to uh, one a week, you know, I, I would get uh, I would get great feedback from a lot of people, you know, and uh most of them would be new, you know, and they send me messages like, hey, you know, I just sat down and watched all these videos and whatnot. And like I said, it's definitely appreciated. But uh, I had to step back myself and ask myself, uh, you know, watching 10 to 15 videos in, you know, in one sitting or even five of them, how much information can uh, can one individual really would really retain, you know, unless they're writing these things down and I'll never know, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't take the time to ask that. Uh, but anyway, I do want to start limiting them to one a week, you know, so uh, for those who are trying to retain certain information, who want to, you know, lock in on certain points or, you know, write it down or just sit with certain things, because I know I like to sit with certain things when I read or watch videos, um, you know, they'll have the proper time to, you know, instead of having, uh, you know, two days in between and they got to focus on the next video and try to, you know, take the message that I'm trying to portray with the, uh, with the video following that. But anyway, that's the reasoning now behind uh, it only being one video per week. But anyway, enough of the boring stuff. Let's get to the good stuff. Um, like I said, you follow me on Instagram. I tell you guys Sunday what the move is going to be for this week. Um, I'm going to provide you guys, in my opinion, of course, always my opinion, my perspective. But I'm going to provide you guys with three, uh, three essential keys to life that school does not teach. And I mean, uh, elementary, high school, uh, college. You know, I, I can't speak real deep into college because I wasn't there longer. I got six credits and left. But uh, in my opinion, these are three things that they don't teach you in college. And uh, number one is going to be one that I actually touched on uh, previously. And that one is going to be heart. Uh, and like I said, each video is going to be broken down piece by piece. So this will be part one. It's going to be three parts, of course, if we got three different things we're touching on. But part one is going to be heart. Um, and when I speak of heart, I'm speaking of resilience, uh, courage, uh, and not just heart. You know, faith faith plays a, uh, a huge role in that as well. But, uh, you know, just the will to fight, the will to succeed, the will to keep going. And like I said, y'all. Is my perspective and my opinion every time I do these videos. But in my opinion, uh, school doesn't really narrow in on uh, on subjects such as heart or or, or consistency or resilience. Um, we're most we're more so taught, you know, how to you know uh, how to unify, how to how to you know how to demonstrate teamwork, how to follow a lead. We're not really taught. Uh, just speaking on the education system that I was brought up in, and here's the word kind of, I can't speak for everybody else's, but I'm sure a lot of people can relate. But we're not really taught, excuse me, you know, how to uh, how to lead the way. Uh, we're not really taught when we're, you know, when we're chasing a specific goal or which we're, we're, we're chasing, you know, just a, I mean, it, it doesn't even have to be a goal. It can be a deadline. It can be anything. We're not really taught uh, survival. We're not taught, uh, really just boils down the heart, like I said in the beginning. And when I say that, uh, you know, for a lot of my people, because I, I get a lot of uh, a lot of emails, a lot of messages and whatnot. But for my people who are entrepreneurs, you know, I'm going to start with them. Uh, like I said, my first transaction, when I first started out in the entrepreneur world, took me seven whole months. And like I said, those seven whole months were comprised of 20-hour uh, days because I was so hungry. And I wanted to prove the people who uh, who doubted me. I wanted to prove them wrong so bad that you know I was you know mentally and physically depriving myself of the things I needed to try to be successful, to try to get from uh, from point A to point B and try to get somewhere else. Um, and I, I don't know about everybody else's uh, school system, but I know within mine, in 12th grade, you take a class called Senior Survival. Uh, senior Survival supposedly 
you know, it teaches you, it teaches you and prepares you for certain things you're going to go through in the adult world. Um, I'm going to tell you two things that stuck out to me, and I swear to you, these are the only two things I can remember learning in that class. Uh, they did teach us how to sew. We had a lot of parties, and they had us walk around with the, uh, it's the pregnant suit for the guys. Uh, it's, 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 it's supposedly equivalent to the baby weight that a woman carries, you know, so a guy can get the feel as well. Uh, those are the two things they taught me within singing survival. Uh, sure, you taught me what it possibly may feel like to carry a baby, but they didn't prepare me to what it may be like to have to feed my adult self and the baby with no job and no income uh, when, when unemployment denies you. They didn't teach me uh, how important how important it was to get myself in a proper financial situation when I'm bringing other lives into the world. And like I said, I can't speak for everybody else, but I speak for mine right here in Tampa, Florida, Hillsborough County. Uh, they never really taught us how to lead. They pretty much instructed us that we, you know, we uh, we take these classes, we graduate, we pick the college of our choice or the college we can afford. We get there. We soak up we soak up this expensive game they're gonna give us you know we get out into the workforce and we work our way up um, and just to go back to the original point this is one of the key essentials that school cannot teach you you know I I, I, uh, I see this on Instagram all the time social media period you know um, a lot of people say they, they have those things that you just can't teach uh, you know it, it may sound uh, it may sound a bit cocky a bit arrogant but it's absolutely true there are some things that cannot, they just cannot be taught. A lot of things we have to go out, we have to stumble, we have to scrape our knees, we have to face adversity. And it brings these things out of us. And, you know, like I said, I'm a walking testament. Uh, you know, I, I, I know I shared this story a bit of it a few daily Jews back. But um, just, just, just to give you the math real quick, uh, November, November 2011, I'm suspended indefinitely. I'm making 36 grand a year, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm paying bills. I, I had just bought a new Scion, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the man, I'm doing my thing. Um, they suspend me and definitely no pay. Uh, I really feel like it was intentional, but they wanted to be jerks. They suspended me all the way until February of the next year. Mind you, I'm going on three, three to four months, uh, nope. Bringing in no revenue, just living off the things I had saved because I've always been a saver. You know, I was always taught that I've always been a saver. So we're surviving, you know, along with my partner at that time, we're surviving of what I have saved and what she's making at the same time at her place of employment. Uh, February, we have a meeting. They wait almost five whole months just to tell me I'm fired. They let me go. Uh, go to get unemployment. They, they stop, they step in, shortstop that, cut that off too. Now no unemployment. Um, uh, the end of February, beginning of March, I decide I, I, no lie, I had an epiphany. I went to go buy the LeBron Nine All Star. Um, that's another daily jewel I'll share later. If you read the book, you know all about it. But anyway, had an epiphany, decided to get into retail as an entrepreneur. Uh, and like I said, it took me until I want to say it was September. I want to say September 27th, and a awesome lady who I'm very close to and great friends with to this very day, named Sarah McCray. Uh, bought the first item off my website um, sometime around that September. I, I, I know it's very close to October. But anyway, uh, in the meantime, uh, bills are piling. Money's running out. I, I mean, when I lost a job, I only had around six or seven grand in my name. Bills are piling. Money's running out. Uh, I've, gone to, I've gone through three or four instances where the lights are off. I am busting my behind. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the competition. I'm looking at all the people around me who are doing the same things. I'm working twice as hard. I'm up all night. I'm up all day. I am going extremely hard to perfect my craft and try to be number one. Uh, school cannot teach you that. School has a reward system. They tell you, hey, go study. And if you study real hard, you're going to make that A. Out here in the real world, uh, not even just entrepreneurship, to my college students, to my people in the workplace, out here in the real world, uh, it's politics involved in the real world. See, in, in, in school, in uh, grade school, there's no politics. You know, if you make your grade, I, I don't know, unless you piss your teacher off, it may be politics. But anyway, you make your grade, um, you pay your dues, and you know, and, and, and you get the results you're looking for on the test. But out here in the real world, things are different. It's not fair and square. 
uh, it just doesn't work like that. And I tell people all the time, especially to my entrepreneurs, uh, your time is going to come. As long as you remain consistent, as long as you keep the faith, as long as you stay true to yourself, your time will come. In the meantime, when you're grinding, when you're struggling, when you're when you're stressing your brain trying to figure it out, and trust me, I relate. I've been there. I even had times now where I still go through it. Because, you know, as, as I'm growing and as I'm generating revenue, I'm finding other things to put it into. And it's not always easy. It's not always ABC. It's not always about, you know, um, uh, positive energy and having a good heart. Those things take longer. Uh, you know, just a quick example. I'm not sure if you notice, but all your favorite conscious rappers, they don't get the same uh, the same tabloids, the same attention, and, you know, the same notoriety as a young thug. Uh, for some reason, uh, stupidity, the people who are not conscious and the people who just enjoy shock value, they tend to pop before those who really pay their dues and, and, and those who really bring su something of substance do. But uh, let me get back on subject. But like I was saying, out here in the real world, politics are involved. So, you know, when you're down, when you're broke, when you're grinding, when you're looking at the man next to you and wondering, man, uh, I go way harder. I'm way more genuine. I provide way more substance. I've been paying my dues twice as long as these guys. Remain consistent. Uh, the biggest one ever is keep the faith. Faith is going to be that thing, that driving force that keeps you going when you have no money, when the lights are off. Uh, when your old lady, your old man is doubting you, you know, when the only fan you had in your corner is telling you, man, I don't think it's going to work. Why don't you just go get a job? Why don't you just quit school? Why don't you just do this? Why don't you settle for that? Rely on your faith. Uh, that happens to be why I tattooed it right here. That means so much to me. I, I, I cannot explain it. Um, there were many times where, you know, we, I'm, I'm, I, I might've been facing repossession. Uh, I was in the dark. I didn't have cable, you know, me, me and my kids were pretty much living in, uh, living in Starbucks, you know, soaking the Wi-Fi, going to McDonald's, going this place, going that place, just milking all the resources we had because we, we really had absolutely nothing. The well had, the well had run dry and the money was gone. Uh, that's something senior, senior survival didn't teach me. They didn't teach me when I'm dead broke, how to maintain a positive outlook and mentality and not pick up one of those guns I had in my collection to go rob a bank. They didn't teach me how to keep my composure. They didn't teach me how to just say, you know what, stand firm and give myself that mirror speech and say, you know what, you gonna make it because you have no other choice. They really didn't teach me that. They taught me how to follow. They taught me how to how to rely on a stranger uh, to support my livelihood, to support my children. You know, and I tell people this all the time. Um, I'm not knocking people that work. I come from that. I come from a blue collar, white collar family. My mother was a teacher. My father just retired. Uh, after 28 years with the uh, sheriff's office and secret service, you know, I, I come from that. I come from the people who work. The very reason I'm here is because the people who work fired me. They forced me to be here pretty much. And I thank them every day. I was sad when they did it, but I thank them every day now. But anyway, uh, I come from that and I'm not knocking you, but they don't, they didn't teach us heart. They didn't teach us, you know, they didn't teach us independence. They didn't teach us that we don't need a stranger to you know to dictate our Monday through Friday uh, our Monday through Friday excuse me to you know to dictate our weekends to dictate how much sleep we get and to dictate how good our, our, our child's Christmas is that's what they taught us and I'm just here to tell you and I'm just here to like I said give you the three essentials I mean there's many of them but these are the three that mean the most to me uh, heart is one of the biggest ones school cannot teach you that school cannot teach you how to you know and I said this earlier on Instagram when we're in these positions, when we're in these tough spots, we gotta step back. We gotta keep our composure. We gotta remain. Uh, we gotta remain analytical. Uh, like 90% of this generation is in their feelings. Everybody moves off their feelings. They move off their emotions. They move off their heart. That's why you see so many people in jail. That's why you see so many people making brass decisions because they they they're just moving with their feelings. They don't take a step back. You know, keep that composure. Gather your thoughts. And 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 figure out how to attack this mission. They don't do that anymore. But like I said to my people on that marathon, whether you are working, you're trying to work your way up, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're in school, whether you're an athlete, whatever it is, uh, heart is going to be one of those things that come from within. Trust me. While you're on this marathon, it is going to be tested. You may be injured. You may get fired. You may go broke. All these things are going to happen. Uh, like I said, y'all, stay true, stay consistent, 
keep the faith uh you will push through like i said um i was in the toyota scion back then that i was on the verge of losing i had no lights i had no nothing uh and now we're here it's 12 20 in the afternoon y'all and i'm taking time out to speak to y'all uh and not to say that in an arrogant way just to show you the uh the ground we covered in such little time not even such little time because three years is a while but the ground i've been able to cover by staying consistent and staying true i could have quit back then i could have went back to work i couldn't i could have not got any of these tattoos you know and just jump back into the blue collar setting i could have done anything in the world but i decided to stick to my guns so i could be here right here today talking to y'all but like i said y'all it's gonna be a three-part uh three-part daily jewel y'all stay tuned for the next one um I actually probably won't wait a whole week because this is going to be one of my favorite ones. So I'll probably give this one four or five days and I'm going to knock out part two. But anyway, y'all stay tuned, y'all. Um, I'll see y'all on the next one.